Welcome to CBT News with Cheyenne Malone. Good morning, everyone. I'm Cheyenne Malone. Welcome back to CBT News. Today in Inside Automotive, we're joined by Kayla Reynolds, Manager of Research and Market Intelligence for Cox Automotive Mobility. But first, here's Chris Riggins with today's top stories. Thanks, Cheyenne. On July 28th, Toyota reported it sold 5.1% more vehicles in the first half of 2023 than it did in 2022. This increase was attributed to easing semiconductor supply constraints and stronger demand in Japan. In the month of June, key markets such as the US and Europe, global sales rose 10% to 898,947 units. Global hybrid EV sales also grew 37.6% year-over-year to 292,131 units. That brought the total number of battery-powered vehicles sold in the first half of 2023 to 46,171 units. The National Highway Traffic Safety Administration proposed new fuel economy standards for the 2027 to 2032 model years, limiting how far U.S. vehicles can travel on a gallon of fuel. The agency's proposal pushes the industry to increase EV sales rather than requiring automakers to offer EVs. However, a few months prior, the EPA proposed separate regulations that govern tailpipe emissions. On July 28, the Vietnamese EV maker VinFast announced the rollout of its EV factory in North Carolina. The EV maker said the factory is designed to produce up to 150,000 vehicles a year. Additionally, the factory is expected to start operations in 2025, which is a year later than its initial target of 2024. The state of North Carolina has invested $1.2 billion in incentives for the project. VinFast CEO Lee Thait Thu T said, quote, We see a lot of potential in the U.S. market with EV infrastructure, and there's still a lot of room for new players as long as we have good quality products. As part of the National Subaru Loves to Care initiative, Rafferty Subaru in Newtown Square, Pennsylvania, recently donated 80 blankets, care kits, and handwritten messages to the patient's facing cancer at Paoli Hospital. The dealership also contributed $5,000 to the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society's Patient Aid Program, which provides blood cancer patients with financial assistance for the cost associated with treatment, such as transportation, food, housing, and more. Rafferty Subaru is one of the 600 national Subaru retailers nationwide working with the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society. By the end of 2023, Subaru of America and its retailers across the country will have supported over 300,000 cancer patients. Chris, thank you. And coming up next, Kayla Reynolds from Cox Automotive Mobility. We'll be right back. Well, if you're not already subscribed to CBT News, now is the perfect time to do it. For over a decade, CBT has brought you exclusive and in-depth interviews with dealer principals, OEM executives, industry analysts, and top-level sales and management trainers. Join the thousands of automotive professionals that rely on CBT News for the insights that drive profits and maximize the bottom line. Subscribe today. Cox Automotive recently released their 2023 Path to EV Adoption Consumer and Dealer Perspective Study. On today's show, we're learning more about the study's findings, especially as new EV inventory does increase. We're pleased to welcome Kayla Reynolds. She's the Manager of Research Market Intelligence at Cox Automotive Mobility, and she's here to break down that study. So to set the stage, tell us about the scope of this new study. So our latest 2023 Path to EV Adoption Consumer and Dealer Perspective Study, it's a continuation of the EV research that Cox Automotive started in 2019. Um, and so it continues to monitor the changes in consumer and dealer sentiment around EV adoption and consideration. But this research also focuses on understanding how EVs will change the consumer shopping and ownership experiences, along with the impacts to the dealership. Okay. One of the uh, key takeaways was related to EV consideration growing rapidly, but sales are growing more slowly. Do you think EV sales will catch up with the consideration? And if so, how will that happen? Yeah, so we expect EV sales to definitely catch up with consideration. Like you said, consideration is at a new high, but yeah. when we take a look at the top purchase barriers for EVs currently, 
cost is still top of mind for those considerers for electric vehicles. Mm -hmm. So with our latest June average transaction price data released earlier today, we still see that new electric vehicles are over $50,000. Yeah. But this is a large decrease from what we saw this time last year. So, you know, we continue to expect for, you know, this decrease in price to happen as more EVs hit the road, um, which will in turn drive sales to catch up with that consideration. Mm -hmm. And you can catch this full interview right here at CBTNews.com. And that does it for us today, but we do invite you to join us right back here tomorrow, tomorrow morning on CBTNews.com and at noon streaming on social media. Also, if you have a question for one of our industry experts, send it to us. We want to hear from you. Newsroom at CBTNews.com. And we'll have an answer on our upcoming newscast. You can stay up to date with the most recent news and trends influencing the retail automotive industry by following us on TikTok, LinkedIn, Facebook, and X, formerly known as Twitter. I'm Cheyenne Malone. Thank you so much for watching. You have a good one. CBT News, your number one resource for auto industry news and content.